Wake up. Hi, welcome to my very dinky desk. Am I wearing pants under this thing? Wouldn't you like to know? Today, we're talking about the Spyderco Bow River Fixed Blade. <clears throat> it's the cheapest fixed blade offered by Spyderco. So when you look at their lineup, it doesn't look like it would be. A little bit cheap and chintzy looking for the price, I gotta say, Spyderco, I love you, but do better. This, on the other hand, looks like a genuine outdoors knife by outdoorsman Phil Wilson. What a shock. He poured all of his years of hunting and fishing experience into it, which is why it's so god tier and amazing. Look at it. Isn't it shiny? The handle is a laminated G10, or maybe micarta, or maybe G10. The blade is a trailing point with a very sharp edge out of the factory, but I batoned mine sideways through dry wood. So now there's a warp in mine. Don't blame Spyderco for that though, because the heat treat is excellent. And as you'll see later, it most definitely tore through that wood. These are made in China, and if you're that Medford guy, that'll make you very mad, and other people very mad at you, and you'll go round and round, like the Sneetches. So let's avoid that conversation for today. But I chose to do some tests on this knife, and I wanted to end it with cutting cardboard without stropping, but I looked fat in the video, so I tried it with stropping. But you were looking at my crotch the whole time. I started by cooking food. Not really, it was just alcohol. It was an old fashioned and I did one of those. The knife was almost too sharp for the fruit, but that's okay because blood is thicker than water and it's a great mixer. After that, I shaved wood as if I was going to make a fire, but I never made a fire. It was great. This thing worked really well. Though, lacking really a belly, it was hard to get a deep bite into the wood. After that, I moved on to the piece de resistance, the baton test, where it, shockingly enough, worked. That You could survive in the woods with this thing, like Rambo, but it would also come out vented and dinged up. After that, I did more food prep, and it still cut just as well as earlier. Maybe slightly less well since I hammered it straight through a log, but that was still okay. Afterwards, I did the cardboard test, which you can't see due to my aforementioned fatness. We'll get you one of those maybe in the future, possibly, if I'm not lazy. Overall, for $45, this is a really good knife. And I would recommend it if you wanted to spend $45 on this type of knife. Just kidding, maybe something with a slightly broader blade for bushcrafting, but this is perfect as a camp food preparation knife. Or maybe you could skin something, or fillet fish. I don't know how to fillet fish, so I like the knife. Bye.